Now, I made this from a picture, and I do have tutorials on how to create like anime style photos, but this is a different kind of anime style. Like, there's different kind of anime styles, and this is the one that I've been working on. Now, this is the original raw file. I took it at my workplace. By the way, you can find practice files in the links below. I'll put it in the description. But I don't include the entire photo because this is still my photo and I don't want anyone selling it or anything. So you can find part of the photo and you only need part of the photo to practice. Anyways, let's get started. We're going to be use Adobe Lightroom, but you can use any software. You know, all these softwares do the same thing. And we're also going to use Photoshop, but once again, you can use uh, Clip Studio Paint or Sci Art or Medi Medibang, whatever software you want. So this is a two software part video, but let's start by editing this uh, raw file. Now I, I usually underexpose for night photos and I underexpose in this case because I wanted to keep the information in the highlights. That's some photography talk. That way you get all these uh, details there. So I'm going to lower the highlights by 100. I'm going to increase the shadows by 100. I'm going to push the whites until it starts to clip over here. You know? Um, not all the way. Just, just to show right there. You can see the clipping taking place over here. That means information is being lost. So I'm going to push it just till it gets just to eclipse like right there and I could increase the blacks but in this case I'm just gonna leave them like that uh, maybe I just give them a little bit just a little push all right so what this does is it increases the dynamic range of your photo kind of gives it it kind of looks like HDR this is basically pseudo HDR because you're not doing it in the camera one more thing I like to go to the luminance and increase it all the way. This gives pictures a very painted feel, like very painterly look. Uh, you can see right here. This is more or less real life. This is with luminance all the way. Now that's not what luminance is supposed to be used for. Luminance is supposed to be used for getting rid of the noise in the photos, but I found out that if you increase it all the way, it kind of does give it that anime look, you know, like it looks like kind of painted. Photographers hate this kind of thing, but I, I'm not like them. You know, I like doing my own thing and it makes it look really cool, like a painted picture, right? So I'm going to increase it all the way, but you do, you do lose some details like these lines, but we're going to go back and paint these lines later. So don't worry about it. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to print one photo, export one picture. And I'm just going to do full resolution. And I'm going to use uh, unique names. And then I'm going to take another uh, picture and I'm going to do the anime thing, right? And I'm going to edit this one in Photoshop. Remember, you can edit this in Photoshop or Medibang or Sci Paint or Clip Studio Art, whatever, uh, whatever kind of editing software you use for painting, right? You can do that, but it already looks like an anime picture right here, like even without doing what I just did. You can also use uh, Adobe Camera Raw, but I'm just so used to using Adobe Lightroom for pretty much everything. So in this case, we're using Photoshop, right? And uh, First thing I'm going to do is uh, create a layer, like a copy of this layer. This is going to be like my adjustments. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to play with the curves a little bit, you know, give them those anime colors. So I'm going to go to the blue channel, right? And uh, I'm just going to mess around with the colors. Try to give a little kind of a blue tint because, you know, anime looks like tinted blue a little, right? So you can't really tell right there. So I increase the blues and the shadows. I'm going to do the same with the green, but not as much, like half as much. You can already see that it's starting to kind of
kind of look like an enemy, right? Uh, looks good. And I think we'll do a little bit of red, just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit, you know. Okay, so we have our hallway. It looks a little dark, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna open one more, and this time I'm gonna go to levels and. I'm gonna do this. I don't want it to look washed out. I'm gonna move this down here first. There we go. You have a little bit more shadow now. And it doesn't look washed out. I just move them. You get a different effect, you know. Better to have level I should have done the levels first before I did the curves. That was my mistake. And we're also gonna do Vibrance. Increase the vibrance to your liking and a little bit of saturation. There we go. So this one's a little different. This one's got a little bit more of a cool color. Uh, this one's a little bit more yellowish, but you know, that's fine. It's to your liking. It doesn't really matter. It's like what you like. And in this one, I just made a little bit more bluer, but this looks really nice too. So now that we have this done, I'm going to save because you know you want to save your progress. This Photoshop crashes a lot. You don't want to start all over. Now this is where it's gonna take a long time. I mean, people would normally just stop here, and that's fine. That's my old videos for like less than five minute edits. But I really, really want to take this to the next level. I'm gonna make a new layer, and I'm just gonna. It's gonna be like my painting. because you are going to paint. And actually, this is probably going to take the longest time. I'm not gonna paint the whole picture, you know, because that takes like seven hours for me. It takes me a long, 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 long time. I'm just gonna paint a little bit to show you what I did. And then you have to go in there. And you have to paint the whole picture by yourself. Like this part is not a filter. This is you doing all the painting. Like I had, luckily I have like a drawing pad, so it helps me paint faster. But uh, in your case, you have to go in there and uh, edit each picture individually. So anyways, we're going to start painting this wall. The goal here is to reduce as much detail as possible while still keeping some detail. So uh, it's kind of confusing. I'm going to put the flow at 50. And usually I keep the opacity like a 70 or something, you know. So I'm going to press Alt to use the eyedropper. And that gives me some color. And I'm just gonna paint a little bit right here. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm just keep repeating this over here. And it's okay, you get different colors. Actually, maybe this is a little bit too much. I'm gonna drop the opacity to 50. Oops. Just take different samples of colors, and you're gonna just paint away like that. All right, that's basically all you want to do. And then you're going to take your smudge tool and you're going to smudge it up to make it look more like a painting, you know? I always tell people I suck at painting, I suck at drawing, but I'm pretty good at taking photos. And this is basically all you got to do the whole thing, you know? Okay, I'm not doing a good job right now to show, but I'm just doing, I'm showing you what I did. It's your job to go in there and uh, do a better job, you know? Cause this picture, this picture took me a long time to do. All right, this took me a good seven or eight hours, not counting the time I took to actually shoot it. But you wanna go in there and you're gonna do this to everything. Well, maybe not everything, just where there's a lot of details. For example, this wall, I'm gonna, well, I'm waiting for the smudge tool to finish. Okay, the smudge tool is uh, loading. I'm gonna get my brush. I'm going to sample this by pressing Alt. See that little eyedropper? And I'm gonna go like that. And this is all you gotta do. This is all I did. I did this for like seven straight hours. 
but I did more meticulous. Like I went in there and I zoomed in all the way and I make sure everything looks really good. I'm just doing it quickly so you can see the process. Okay, and then once I did that, got my smudge tool, smudge it up. So that's one of the key points you gotta learn from this. First, I go in there, I smudge things up with a paint, I go over it and paint over it again. And, you know, in anime there's details, but there's not so many details. So step one is the painting. Step two, remove the details, because some things just have too much detail, you do not have them in anime. So I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to focus on removing the details. So I got my paintbrush, sample the color with the Alt, and I'm going to paint over this. Okay, that's the wrong color. Okay, that's that's not right it should be darker than this why okay there we go and that's basically it uh, maybe it's better if you do these uh, curves things later like not right now okay so I'm gonna go and you're gonna go in there and remove the details on places that would probably get it like ignored in anime, like this writing over here. Just small things like that, you know? So, like I say, I'm not gonna do the whole picture. I'm just doing this to show you more or less the way it goes. And why is this so dark? It should be whiter. Ah, I see. So I accidentally set my my uh, my mode to multiply. Don't do that. Keep it on normal. There we go. That's much better. I was wondering what was wrong. I guess we can turn that, these back on. So you can see I'm not a photography uh, whiz. I mean, I'm not a Photoshop whiz. I'm just a guy. So if you're if you know Photoshop much better than me, this would be great for you. I'm just giving you the base of what you should be doing to create this effect. And then you can go in there and uh, do it. Of course, if you have another editing software, you can uh, do this easily. So once I paint it, I'm gonna go in there and smudge it up. Because you know, in anime, all the colors are messed up anyways. And that looks good enough. You can do a better job. And that's basically it. Uh, we're not done yet, of course. So step one, go around painting mostly everything. Step two, remove the uh, small details that wouldn't show up in an anime. I mean, we, we really reduced most of them. We, we uh, did the luminance in Lightroom. Step three, and if you thought if you thought this was tedious, wait until you do step three, which is uh, drawing the lines that we missed. So I'm gonna make a new layer, make this one lines, and I'm gonna go into this picture and uh, basically draw lines everywhere, uh, lines that should be there. And to help me with this, I'm going to uh, place this picture that I exported earlier. This is my reference photo, by the way. What's it, this one? Wait a minute, one second. I think it was this one, right. This was the photo. So, I'm just gonna use this as a reference, you know. Like, there should be lines right here, but there's not lines over here. So it's going to be reference, and I'm going to reduce the opacity, just so I can see it in the painting, right? Okay, now, this is going to be my lines. 
I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to steal the color from these lines. So I'm going to Alt Sample. You see it. And now I'm going to draw these lines. Now, there's a shortcut to drawing these lines. You basically, you leave a mark like this. You know, you see it? And then you hold Shift and you press and it's going to draw the line. Zoom, just like that. Of course, my line is too thick. So I'm going to get a hard brush and I'm going to do like three pixels or something. I'm going to go back. I need it to be a little bit darker. Sample. Alt. Sample. Okay, that's a little bit better. Or maybe this one. Oh. Okay, let's do it again. Make a little mark. Hold shift. Boom. It's a very subtle line. You can you can barely see it. Actually, I'll make it five cents. Let's make it six. And you're gonna go back and you're gonna do this pretty much the whole picture. You may not think this is a big deal because you can barely see it, but it's the small details that make the anime, you know? There we go. And we're gonna go back over here. Do the same thing. Just like that. And of course you gotta go in there and do these going horizontally too. Uh, but I'm just gonna do the vertical ones to prove my point. Okay, so we drew those lines. It looks weird, right? So now you're going to grab a eraser like this. You got to make sure it's uh, the spongy one, you know, like the soft, soft edge and not too big. And you're just going to let the edges erase. You're not going to erase it comp like you're not going to touch it exactly. You're just going to make the feather part erase part of the lines. Not all the line, just part of the line to make sure it looks a little bit more natural. And um, just like that, just like the edges. Okay, in this case, just like this. To make it seem more, less abrupt, you know? And uh, actually I have a drawing pad, but right now I'm using my mouse. It's much faster with drawing pad, but I'm not telling you to go out and buy a drawing pad. This is just uh, most of you. If you're an artist, you probably already have one. And if you're not, then uh, it, it's really helpful. It doesn't have to be the expensive one. It can just be the cheap ones that are like 50 bucks. You know what I mean? Those are very useful. Just gonna, just gonna make sure these lines are not too strong. They're like, you want it so that the, you know the line is there. You can see the line. But it's not like too abrupt. See, like that. So you can see a little difference. Very small difference. I don't think you can see it in this recording unless I zoom in a little bit more. Let me show you. No lines, lines. No lines, lines. No lines, lines. But I promise you. The more time you spend on these very small details, uh, the better the picture is going to look. So step one, paint the whole picture. Step two, go around erasing these very small details uh, that would not otherwise show in the photo in the anime, right? Just erase the very small, noisy details. You want to take away from the picture, basically. Step three, you want to go in there, draw the lines, all the lines. I'm going to do a few more just to show you. Like, uh, for example, these uh, highlights. I'm going to take my brush, sample some of this highlight. Oops. Out. And let's use like a size 8 or something. And one more time. Paint. Hold shift, bam, draw a line. Okay, that's not a very good line. Control Z. I'll do it again. Paint here, shift, voila. Actually, that's not bad. I'm gonna do a little brighter shade like this. Oh, Control Z. 
it's a little bit harder with the mouse. You know, just draw some highlights like that. Take your eraser, make the brush bigger, and kind of erase, but not completely erase. You know what I mean? Just make it softer. See? What a difference. It's a very subtle difference. But when you do it to the entire picture, it makes a huge difference. So we're going to do a few more just to prove my point. Okay, we got to I'm going to get the brush. We're going to hold Alt. Actually, we can increase the flow to 100 now. It's fine. Because we're just drawing lines. So paint a little bit. Oops. Actually, I want a more brighter tone like that. Paint a little bit. And then hold Shift. Press down. That's not supposed to happen. You want like a brighter shade, you know. Actually, let's just, why make, why am I making it harder myself? Okay, paint a little bit, hold shift. Why is it doing that? Oh, what, why is this multiply? I, I do not remember ever changing it to multiply. Yeah, all these little small things. I don't know why, um, why that happens. Anyways, just like that. Then once again, Take your eraser, make it look a little bit more natural by erasing like the edges. Voila. And from here is just uh, repeating for a few hours until until you get the effect. Okay. Since I already painted, I'm gonna get a smaller eraser. Yeah, I never said this was gonna be easy or fast. You know, it's I'm just teaching you how it's how it's done. Just like that. I'm going to do one more. See? Small effect. And that's basically almost, almost all done. You're going to go in there, do all these little lines. This line, this line, this line, horizontal lines, lines on the floor, lines right here, lines right there, lines over here. After you finish painting everything. And then, once you are pretty much done, we're going to add the Makoto Shinkai Glow. If you don't know what the Makoto Shinkai Glow is, look at this. There's glow here. There's glow there. There's glow everywhere. Right? Here's a perfect example. Glow. So actually, I think some of these are by other artists, but you you get the point. There's a little glow in there. So how do we how do we do that? How do we add a little bit of glow? It's actually very simple. Very, very simple. I'm gonna make one more. This is gonna be my glow. I'm gonna get my brush once again. I'm gonna choose a color that is kind of glowy. You can go with like gold, but I'm gonna go with something else like pink. Very hot pink. And get a soft brush. Make a big one. I'm just gonna like Woo, like that. Ooh, nothing special. Go to screen. And then just lower the opacity until it looks looks to your liking. There's I'm not gonna tell you go to 17%, go to 40%. You do whatever you want, you know. This is art. You do it the way you want it to look. I don't even remember what I did over here. Mine was a lot more subtle, alright. But just to it gets to your liking. Actually, I think on this picture there's a lot more. I put it a glow. I made a glow over here too. So I'm gonna do one more glow. And let's do glow like that. Alright. And I want it to look like this, so I'm going to sample that. There we go. Not not too hard. A little bit yellow. Bam. Glow. Same thing. Screen. Lower the opacity. Yeah, I mean, you can go back in there and erase some, erase some of the unnecessary glow, you know, just a little bit, give it some shape. 
and uh, we're basically basically done I mean, at this point um, from here on it's just uh, you go in there and you paint everything by yourself no one's gonna do it for you then you draw the anime lines all the little lines oh wait no erase the details you know all the small details that wouldn't show up and then you draw the lines and then you can add some glow if you want I mean, it's not necessary it's up to you but that is how he do and that is how i do because i want to make something that looks like his um his movies his videos and that's it i mean that's all there is to it it doesn't sound like a lot but man this takes so many hours to do i mean it took me seven hours to do with the drawing pad i, can, I wonder how long it's going to take to do with a mouse you know so this is a uh, this is the anime tutorial i hope you found it useful uh, i do have a patreon so if you want raw files psd files more in-depth tutorials wallpapers all that jazz uh, do consider helping the guy out, you know. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna save this now, and I'm gonna go to Lightroom because I prefer editing in Lightroom. To be honest, I like Lightroom more than Photoshop. But as if I, as I'm doing more of these anime edits, I'm continuing to find myself using Photoshop a bit more. So um, here you can change the white balance, you know, make change the colors a little bit, make it a little bit cooler the way I had it, and. Uh, as for myself, I like a little vignette. I mean, you don't need to do this. This is just me. This, this is my style, all right? And, uh, yeah. Thank you for enjoying this. And uh, I'll see you around.